Hi guys and welcome back to the YouTube channel. So in today's video, as you can tell from the title, we're going to be reviewing the new Hustlers movie that's about like strippers or whatever. I was originally going to um, review this movie with like girls from my job, like two other strippers that are like a little different than me. So we could give like different perspectives, but our schedules didn't really line up. So I'm doing it with my sister instead. So yeah, um, we didn't see the movie together actually, but you know, we both saw it. So we're going to give like our opinion and tell if it was like realistic and what we thought about it and stuff like that. But if you haven't seen the movie yet, I probably wouldn't watch this because not like we're going to spoil the movie, but like we are talking about it. So like, obviously we're going to spoil it a little. So yeah, if you want to see us review the Hustlers movie, then keep watching. Okay, so I think that overall the movie was like, okay, it wasn't like, oh yeah. my god, so good. I feel like the beginning was really good though, because at the beginning of the movie, like, I was like, damn, this movie's about to be good as fuck. Like, it was fire, like, it was so accurate, like, the house mom, mm -hmm. and all the girls in the back and everything, like, it Even was just at that very first part, like, do you have a safety pin? No. Yeah. Mom! Like, that was, like, pretty Yeah, because literally the mom, like, helped, the house mom helped you with everything, and the vibe in the back is usually, like, really good, like, it's just a bunch of girls, you know, getting ready and everything, so I feel like that was really accurate, and then them walking out into the club, like, oh, the yeah. vibe at the beginning was, like, very pretty accurate. accurate. And it was funny, too, like, the jokes that they were telling and stuff, like, yeah, and then how that one girl who was new was watching um, Joe oh, yeah. on stage. Mm -hmm. It's like, so when you're new, yeah, because when I was new, I remember, like, I didn't do stage, and I was watching all the other girls, and I was just like, how do they do that? Like, I'm going to look crazy. And then it is true, because when you're new, I feel like you always go up to, like, the girls that are older and stuff, like, oh, my God, how do you make money? Like, how do you do it, you know? So, and we have a smoking room in our club, so when they were smoking on the roof, you know, they don't do that. But how the girl went up to her, I have a friend, Heather, that I'm actually going to Miami with and she was older than me and like was in the industry longer and I went to her for like advice and stuff when I first started and she like took me under her wing so I could have kind of related to that a little bit I was honestly surprised at that part like when she was like get in my fur I thought for sure she was gonna be like yeah, like this or like you. yeah like you're new you know how to like you can make your own money that's true though at usually at clubs the girls that know how to do stuff are not gonna take the like new girls under the wing yeah. and help them Usually though, well sometimes they might, but it's more like they're gonna be like you're on your own or they might give you like a little tip, but they're not usually gonna like introduce you to all their regulars and all that so you can like take their money. They're usually Yeah, I thought that was like very unrealistic too. Just like I'll introduce you to some of my regulars. I was like Yeah, like usually girls don't take another girl that's new to meet their regulars because that's their customer that Right, like that's their for. money. Yeah, so that was like a little odd. I mean it can kinda happen because that's kinda what Heather did for me, but like usually that doesn't happen, so Cause I, oh, I remember trying to talk to other girls when I first started at the club and some of them weren't very nice. I was, actually most of the girls at my club are really, really, really nice. It's just that the very first girl I ever spoke to at my club, I went up to her and I was like, oh my God, you are so pretty. And she said nothing. Remember I told you about that? Like she didn't say thank you or anything and I felt like really salty and I was like scared. I was like, oh my God, like I hope this is not like how everyone is, but no one else has been like that. Everyone's really nice, but they just are probably not going to introduce you to their money, but they're still nice. Yeah. Also, I think we could both agree that um, Cardi B, where was she at? I was so upset. Like, I thought she was going to be, like, a main character, like, finessing with them. I didn't realize that she I was know. just, like, an extra, basically. Like, it was, Showing like, the movie. yeah, like, it was, it would have been cool if she was in it more. Just because, like, obviously she has, like, that perspective because she lived through, literally, like, it was not it basically, whole... like, that exact situation. Like, she was, like, finessing people and, like, drugging them. That's what she said. Yeah, so I wish Cardi B would have been because, you know, we love Cardi B and, like, where was she at? And also, didn't Nikita? Oh, no, I, I saw that. Even, I, think I didn't it was, see Nikita at all. No, I don't think she was in the movie. I think they did like a like a like a showing of the like a premiere of the movie, and she like oh. went to it, and they, maybe they have like a little bit of a. I thought she was gonna be in the movie, and I was like, yes. Oh, I wow, saw that. Happy. I saw that too, and I was like, okay. I was so excited, and then I was like, but Lissa was in it, and that was cool. Oh yeah, yeah. I liked that too because it shows that like. All different body types yeah. can work at a club. Like, all body types are beautiful. Like, it was, like, body positivity. Mm -hmm. It wasn't, it was, like, girls with plastic surgery. Like, skinny girls with, like, all their natural body. Like, my sister's still bad as fuck, but, like, her whole body is natural. Like, I liked that, too. Like, yeah. um, I thought they had, like, a really, really wide variety of women. Yeah. And it, and obviously, like, they're all there making money. So, it just goes to show that, like, it, it, you don't have to have a specific body type in order to do that job. Yeah, and I also thought it was funny when the girls got her boobs done and they were all like excited. Oh, yeah. Because like girls are always getting plastic surgery at the club. Like there's always a girl like, dude, I'm going to go get my titties next week. I'm going to go do, do this. Right, like, and then that debut, like, oh, look, I'm back. You come back and everyone's like, ooh, oh, I see your surgery. <laughs> that happens a lot at the club too. Um, Yeah, that was funny. 
Yeah. So yeah, I feel like the beginning of the movie was really strong, accurate, on point. And but one thing I was also disappointed, there wasn't that many pull tricks in the movie. Right. And but you know what? I watched a thing about like J Lo when she um it was like the making of like her getting prepared for that and like learning all these pull tricks and stuff and like she actually learned a lot of stuff like I don't think it showed in the movie when she like went upside down in a straddle but she actually like knows how to do that and like I don't know I feel like she learned all that stuff kind of for nothing because they didn't put a lot of it in there yeah I felt like when when she did her little like segment on stage she didn't like go up there a lot mm -hmm. I thought it was gonna be more like pull work but also there wasn't a lot of um like you notice in the movie when they made real money, it wasn't them on stage yeah. making real money. The real money is in the champagne rooms and it's in the back. And I feel like they portrayed the champagne rooms very accurately at the beginning of the movie. Yeah. At the end, obviously, it got a little crazy. But, um, like, that's obviously where you make the money. You know, you want to get cards swiped, not just, like, money thrown at mm -hmm. you. But it's cool to get money thrown at you, too. But the real money is when they swipe the cards. And then how Cardi B was like... Ride the clock, not the clock. Oh, like, that's yeah. so true. Because, like, when you have time in the room... Drain, drain the clock, right? Yeah. Yeah. He said, I don't know. She said something like that about, but, like, but wasting was... time, which is kind of really true yeah. in a champagne room. Because, like, you know how, like, Jayla was, like, under the room with Lil Bangs, the main character? Her name was Destiny in the movie. Oh, Destiny? And she was, like, undressing her and, like, waiting for the guy to give more money, like, doing everything slow. Yeah. Like, it's not like you go in a champagne room and you're back there, like, sucking dick or, like, doing nothing crazy. Like, you really don't do any of that. It's just, like, a fantasy. Like, you're yeah, you're selling just, like, a fantasy. Yeah, so that's why they do everything, like, slow, you know. Take it slow. And then the last ten minutes gets real good. And then it's like, oh, do you want to do another hour? <laughs> so, yeah, I think that was, like, pretty accurate on the beginning. But then... I feel like about the whole drugging and everything, like, that's not realistic. Like, that, it did happen. And I feel like, um, for us, like, it couldn't happen in Chicago or anything. Like, at the club we work at, because they're really super strict. strict. yeah. Cameras. Literally, yeah. And then if they're too drunk to sign, they will not let the room go on. That's why it's like, you got to get them drunk enough to swipe. Yeah. And yeah. then, but... Yeah, not drunk sober enough to, enough to sign, sign the check. Which is so true, because you want them to be drunk to, like, want to party. Right. But they, you know, they need to be sober enough to, like understand what's yeah. going on because at our job if the signature doesn't match their license like then they won't let the room go or if the guy looks too fucked up they'll end the room and like bring him back to vip and like give him water and stuff that has happened to me a few times in my job so that is true but i think um that was more happening at like big clubs because obviously this movie wasn't based in chicago it was in new no. york right? yeah it was in new york yeah so it's obviously different like in vegas new york every club every city is different so I guess I could see that happening at other places. Especially, like, during the time that it was going on, because it was, yeah. like, the recession. So, like, people aren't going to just go pay to get, like, teased or, like, blue balls or whatever the fuck, like, people try to say. Yeah, and I feel like the movie is not based on stripping nowadays. It was based on, like, what, 2007, 2008? Yeah. Something like that. Because, okay, you know how, this is what I wanted to say. At the beginning of the movie, they were making money. It was good. Like, mm -hmm. it's all about getting regulars, making money. That's how it is now. Yeah. But then the recession happened, and that's when everyone became desperate. Right. But now the way, like, the economy and shit set up, like, that could never happen again. No. Like, I mean, it, yeah, probably it could happen, yeah. but not as bad. Right. So that's the only reason that girls were, like, drugging guys and, like, all that crazy stuff was happening. I think because, it was just, like, a fight or flee, like, time yeah. for everybody. Because as you can see, like, they had kids, they were struggling. So nowadays, I feel like it's not really like that in the strip club. Like, it was just that time period that people were, like, desperate. And even if... Well, I guess they just got a lot stricter after that whole thing. Bought a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel like that doesn't portray, like, strippers, right? Because obviously we don't drug people. Like, But I feel like it was who... good because they, they they made it, like, known in the movie. Like, when Des the character Destiny was, like, getting interviewed or whatever with that lady, she was saying, like, it, this wasn't, like, a normal thing. Like, I don't want to add to a stigma. Yeah, that all strippers do this because it's true. They don't. Right. And then also... You could tell, like, you know how, like, the business they had of, like, drugging these guys was going good until they let, like, girls Other that were messy and, yeah. like, doing drugs. And that's so true, even in the club, because, like, if you're constantly drinking or smoking, like, you could tell they weren't even taking their shots. Like, they weren't doing the drugs and stuff. But the girls that are, I'm not saying, like, every person that does drugs or drinks is, like, sloppy, but it can get, like, in the way of your work if you're there to, like, party and not work. Yeah, I think it's, it, like, it shows, little... like, if you're there and you're just, like, like, off the shits, like... Yeah, you're not going to look classy and you're not going to look, like, approachable. You're just going to look messy. fucked up. Yeah. yeah, and then, like, you're not focused on making money at that point. Now you're just focused on having fun, like, partying. Because it is a nightclub that you're working at. Like, working at a club. But, like... you got to separate the two, like, work and play. Yeah, it can still be fun, but, like, make sure you get your bag, you know. Talk to your customers. Okay, so uh, people that want to become strippers, 
that watch this movie, do you think like it's a good representation of what the job is really like? Um, yeah, like in the beginning, if you just watch the beginning part, only focus on that. Yeah, up until the drug part. Yeah, up until after Usher comes into the club, then it's like, okay, you can disregard that shit. Yeah. I mean, it really did happen, but... But we don't want to repeat that. Yeah, so... I mean, not to judge anybody, however you get your bag, but like... Yeah, pretty much. It, it is, I guess, if you want to become a stripper and you're trying to watch this movie to see, like, if you should become a stripper or not to see how, what it's really like, it, it kind of portrays it, but, like, at the same time, it doesn't because, like, we've been saying, like, every club is different, every city is different, and at the beginning, yeah, it was pretty accurate and it was funny, and I thought... And you know what I was kind of disappointed about the movie, though? Because I watched the movie right before I went to work on purpose, so I thought it was going to, like, help me motivate you. Know? Yeah, and be like, yes, like, let me get this money, I'm a stripper, like, yes... But it did not motivate me. It didn't make me feel like, you know? Right. It didn't empower me to be like, yeah, I'm a fucking stripper. Like, let me go get this bag tonight. Probably because they ended up in jail. Yeah. And, yeah, it wasn't like, I don't know. I don't think it was that good. It was not bad. Like, definitely go see it if you haven't seen it. But, like, it wasn't I mean, like. I thought it was good. I just thought it was going to be different. Yeah. And I was sad that they kind of all like went their own ways after yeah. all of that. Like another thing, like in the movie, how <clears throat> they were explaining like the different levels of guys. Like you can tell when a guy's like at the bottom, or when he's in the middle, or when he's at the top. Like they said, like anybody could buy like one nice suit, but we yeah. want to look at his shoes. Yeah, or look at his watch yeah. and stuff like that. That's so true because um, like the guys that do have a lot of money do get special treatment and how they say like some guys are bought, brought through the back or just brought right into the champagne room that is true like at some clubs like they have a gold card or a black card and right. they get sent right to vip and they get girls brought to them or like stuff like that so it is true it's not like oh you're known here and you have a lot of money so you get to touch the girls however you want or they could do whatever you want but you'll get like special treatment like you'll get to be in the vip or you know all the managers are going to be nicer to you you're going to go by the champagne rooms, girls are gonna get brought to you. So you do get like special treatment if like the club knows you and you know that you spend money or whatever. But the rules are still the same, it's just they do get treated like a little better, I would say. Yeah. They just get like escorted places instead of like, okay, have fun. Yeah, instead of just don't like, make sure like they don't mm. make sure they seat you in VIP right away and then a waitress comes right away and girls are brought to you right away. Everything's just... Yeah. Because they know you have money or whatever. So overall, the movie was pretty good, like, for a movie, you know? The accuracy rate is, like, 50-50. Yeah. I feel like for that time period, though, that is accurate. Because they're not talking about how strip clubs run in general. They're talking right. about the One recession situation. that happened in 2008. They're, yeah. they're talking about that specific event. So for that, it was really accurate. But for how strip clubs are now, I think it's more like the vibe at the beginning of the movie. Yeah. Like, gaining regulars... Knowing how to talk to guys, knowing how to keep them in a room, like, you know, stuff like that. But the movie was, it was good. We just wish, like, Cardi B would have been in more and stuff like that. But we liked it. I liked it. I liked it. Overall, I think we both agree that it was, like, a pretty good movie, you know? Yeah, in terms of, like, accuracy, the first half of the movie was, like, very accurate for the times now. And I think, like, that situation that was going on back then, it was, like, just interesting to see, like, how shit went yeah. down. It was. I yeah. agree. Because we don't work at a club that is like that or in a city like that. Right. It was really good. But um, I hope you guys liked this video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.